We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. Paul Aaron, this is the launch operations manager. The launch team wishes you good luck and Godspeed. Uh, thank you very much. No, it'll be a good one. Three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. We're still go at this time. We'll be coming up in the automatic sequence about 10 or 15 seconds from this time. Counting T minus C. We are going with all elements of the machine. This is the launch team. The control center monitoring a number of what we call the vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift off on the final lift. Oh boy. Eagle has wings. Six forward. Sixty seconds. Lights on. Forward. Forward. Forty feet down. Two and a half. Picking up the dust. Straight shadow. Four forward. Drifting to the right a little. Thirty seconds. Forward. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Armstrong is on the moon. Captain Neil Armstrong. Thirty-eight-year-old American standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Three by five, five. In the sky, his toes is not to know it, cause he knows it's all with what he told him. Let the children lose it, let the children lose it. This certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure that they too join with Americans in recognizing what an immense feat this is.